I'm Kevin and Tom. It's so nice to see you. Congratulations on the unbearable weight of massive talent. It's just, it's just such a unique, funny film. Uh, how did you come up with this idea? Um, how did you choose, and why did you choose the one and only, the legend, um, Nicolas Cage? <laughs> well, thank you very much for saying that. Thank uh, you. you know, I, I think when we were thinking about uh, <clears throat> uh, Nick. He sort of transcends this idea of being just an actor who comes in and out of favor. Uh, he's he's like a cultural icon. He's this institution that has, you know, grown in stature as a result of like the memification of his movies and his face. Uh, you know, and the internet is obsessed with them. And just the the sight of Nick's face, like seeing it places, makes people sort of smile at this point. It makes them laugh, it brings them joy. And we thought, if we're gonna make a movie about an actor playing himself, it's gotta be Nick. And Javi is the geek, the fun boy in all of us. Uh, how fun was that writing him and uh, writing about his obsession for uh, Nick uh, Cage? It was, it was really fun. That was obviously, his character is kind of an avatar for, for us. Um, and what made it extra special was that, you know, when we when we got to meet Pedro, we went and had lunch with him went, while we were kind of deciding on the casting process. And he said, he said, you know, he didn't have the role yet. And he said, guys, you know what? I have to tell you, I don't even care if I if I get it or not. Obviously, I want it. But he's like, I'm just here because I want to talk to you guys about Nick Cage. I am a fan. Like, how did you come up with this idea? Where did this come from? And so, you know, we knew that like he was one of us. Yeah, we could really we could we could channel his own Nick Cage fanboydom into into that character. So I I love how the two of them are actually very dramatic in circumstances that don't require to be that dramatic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love them, and I love how you use all the famous lines that we always hear in action movies. You know, um, I'm gonna say the most cliche lines like you know tell my daughter i loved her uh things like that <laughs> how fun was that for you uh, i was i mean the whole movie is supposed to be a celebration not just of nicholas cage's career and and his body of work but of like movie making uh and 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 creating things in general and so it was so fun to play around i think within the tropes as the movie changes genre four or five times throughout the course of the movie you know, we got to play exactly. around with all of those different uh, those different ideas and the tropes and the cliched things you'd see. And, you know, even when they're writing the movie together, he goes, you know, what? Oh, so the third act is about two men saving the girl. <laughs> and it's like, obviously, that's such a crazy, like, that's disgusting. Know, that's disgusting. It's an action <laughs> movie trope. And then immediately after we have the daughter kidnapped, it becomes about two men trying to save the girl. And so it was so much fun for us to construct the, that sort of like, you know, crazy meta narrative. They're just uh, figuring it out, just like us. When we're watching the movie, we're like, okay, let's see what happens next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like two guys trapped in a narrative, yeah, <laughs> who are ill-equipped yeah. to actually figure exactly. it out. But I read that Nicolas Cage wasn't even that um, keen on playing that part at first, that he wasn't sure about portraying himself in a movie. How did you convince him? Well, we ended up, you know, we wrote the script and it was Nicolas Cage as Nicolas Cage and, we, that wasn't getting him there, and so we had we wrote him a letter that explained our intentions. We explained that this was a celebration of his life and his work, and that it would give him a chance to do all the genres that he's done over the years, and that there's only one actor that could do all of those things, and that was him, and, and we needed him. So, um, you know, thank God that he said yes. And he also had a chance to play around with, like, what people think about him and how we think about him and sort of take the reins of this identity like uh, you know of his identity in public in a narrative feature film form and it became like a piece of kind of performance art which i think for nick if you mention something like that he's like that i'm interested in you know theoretically yeah so he he became uh became the star of the film. Thank you so much for joining me today. Congratulations again. I had such a great time just watching it. It was such a feel good movie and uh, the love we all need right now. <laughs> oh, oh God. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. that. Thanks. Thank you.